right there. Show mate Yogi here. Once again, take me back to the land of Kunyi for more Crusader Kings 3. With our queen, who's just married. I've been to another marriage. Queen Dorma. Let's go. An attempt on my life, oh no, is attend some celebrations at Kuzaloma. I spend the evening drunk on merriments and wine. As I wake in the morning, to, it is to find myself in a damp cellar with a huge hangover and a newly built wall almost covering the exit. Someone meant to bury me here. I need to find out who the hell did that. What the hell? A strange noise. I arrived back at my stronghold after a long, long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born this day 29 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my husband, son, or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chamber, loneliness impeding my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and hushed whispers from down the hallway. Careful, my queen. Someone just tell me to bury you alive. I mean, maybe you need to get out of there? What could it be at this hour? Happy birthday! Oh, you're okay, my queen. Okay. Watch out for poison cake. What a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me as well as I begin this next year of my life. There's even an entire table laden with saffron cakes. My favourite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Sung went to all this trouble of arranging this in secret. I had not a clue as such a thought was... Uh, such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Gecko approaches me, struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the tricks to his A's. I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which one? Take the biggest! Centicore's horn. Okay, what's that? Fertility plus 50. You don't need to have that. Yeah, you don't need another child, my, my queen. Um... You've got an heir and a spare, although they are bastards. I think. But you do have an heir and a spare, so... Oh, I think you're okay there. Don't use that, then. Uh, I wonder, can you convert it into a... A core artifact. Oh, I didn't want that. Oh, you need an antiquarian. Uh, you got to get an antiquarian, my lady. I'm also going to get a court physician. Uh, Dawnthrop will do for you there. Antiquarian. This is it. You're a claimed knight. That'll do there. What about here? Dash? They're fine. I am an, uh... Uh, Dondrup can be that as well, I think. They're good. I don't want you to get too much else, though, my lady. Control growth, that would be a good thing to have. So, telling me, Yep, she can take that on. Court Jester. Three cars, she'll do. 
All right, I am giving you more, aren't I? So, I guess that worked out different than I thought. Someone tried to kill you, so it would be good to have uh, a bodyguard, I think. And I think that's about it, my lady. You're all clear there. Yeah, why don't you make Shinkao your... Uh... Yeah, man. In just seven days, you can make him your man, you know. All right. Oh, that's sad, is it? I don't think you're going to do that, are you? Oh, it's a pity you can't subjugate him. I think they're way too powerful, honestly. Yeah. Well, maybe not, but uh, risky. What about the other way? Garim, whatever it is. Ooh. Ooh. Play war. Hmm. That big bug is going to be way too powerful for you, my lady. Yeah, they will all say exact same as you. You could subjugate him. Or... You could just conquer the county. Which is exactly the same thing, except he's not a vassal. I don't really need any more vassals. So, my lady, this means war. Multiple guest has arrived, all right. Four months. An attempt on your life again. Good job we did get a bodyguard. I was about to bite into the most succulent piece of duck I had ever seen. One of my servants keeled over, clutching at his throat. I had been helping himself to a taste of my meal. At the very least, he serves a warning not to touch the bird while receiving just punishment for his crime. This was undoubtedly the work of that reclusive King's Son? Yeah, you'll make him regret this. Alright, you've got the county. Three things, cousin. Make your humans rot in your living body. Yeah, 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 whatever. That bugger's going to jail.
Renegade, King Son managed to avoid capture and say that he's displeased with my actions, but put it mildly, traitor. He's gone. You're being raided. Where? Oh, actually, one thing you can do is uh, disband all your, your units. And the raiders are over there, are they? Five ninety-four. You may have to raise them again, my lady. Where is that? I think we should go for the red point, even though I don't know where it is. Oh, in Kozaloma. That's there. They're a decent quality, though. Uh, the other options... Booker, uh, whatever. I think that's down here somewhere, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't know where that is. All right, we'll do it in Kozaloma. That's them beaten. Disband all. And you have a new perk. What do we have here? Low county control. Does anyone is it is he is she doing anything? No. Eleven years, wow. Potential allies. He's not going to accept. He's not going to accept. All right. So be it. So be it. Uh, you got something going on in the court, uh, in the court, my lady. Have a look, shall we? Beeline Hunter. I think I found the reason why some days are more rat free than others. My cousin High Chief this Bananara happily declares as she moves aside to the real as servant, holding a very displeased cat. It wriggles in an attempt to free itself from the scratched up arms of the servants, mewling in a rather endearing fashion. I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, it was in the middle of a wrestling match with a fat one when we found it. What say you? Should we adopt this cat? You know what, Bananera? You can have the cat. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Purchase truce. Uh... Not sure what happened there. Time to hold the court, my lady. Let's send the first one in. Kumkol dancing. A peasant woman from the tribe of Kumkol is brought before me. And no matter what the guards do, she will not stop dancing. Trailing blood from her mangled feet. I cannot seize my lady. 
None of us can. Not until we collapse. This was supposedly something that happened in France, I believe, uh, centuries ago. Please help us. My concubine, Dondrop, is certain that the citizens are afflicted by an excess of blood, causing an imbalance of the humours. That's it. Are you really one that's going to pass it on to them? I think yes. Maybe balance her humans for her. Stick some leeches on her. I'm sure if that if they bite her enough, she'll lose interest in her feet. My Chancellor Chief Pelkey approaches the throne with a young man in tow. My liege and queen, he spouts. My son, Upadaya Samdup of Sua, uh, seeks the honour of serving in your retinue of champions. Very well. Yep, I think he can join you, my, la my lady. Serious business. A frightful peasant strolls all too close to uh, before the guard stops between us. Ooh, he backs up with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your ladiness, I come here from Kozaloma with a matter of great importance. His eyebrows undulate. You see, Queen, the prioress, Sal, slipped a fence one night and she, she only went and got into the old barrier's uh, veggie patch. It's pride and joy. Tears of laughter stream down the convulsing peasant's face. You already have a fool. Don't do that. We also don't need the stress, my lady, so... Send your steward to fix it. And that's it. The court is concluded, my lady. So you've made a slight expansion there. Conquest of Amdo County. Naku. Hey, isn't that mine? Yeah. That's in my lands. <coughs> Zadoi. Yeah, you're not going to get anywhere there. What Camdo? Could take them on. Yeah, not really worth it though, is it? I think they're a bit too much for you, my, my lady. You could do it. It would just be extremely risky and you don't need that risk, to be honest. Like it can subjugate anyone for some reason. Hmm. The doy. We got too many allies, my lady. They had a bit. Far afield. I mean, they're not far afield, but I'd rather you shore up your lands where they are. Conquer the duchy. Uh, you need to be at level 3. You're at level 2 at the moment. You are at level 2 at the moment, my lady. 
So you're not close enough for that. So, my lady, carry on. You've got plenty of life left in you yet. Don't worry about it. Oh, and now that you have a... Uh... Now that you have an antiquarian... But we're not looking to repair. We're looking to reforge. We can't reforge? You're not looking to repair. Nothing there. Alright. But yeah, I don't need you to go getting yourself pregnant again. You've got an air and a spare. That's enough. To the thoughtful Queen Torum of Cunyi, I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the war for the County of Pemanco. Uh, you... Don't exactly have a lot there, do you? Uh -huh. hmm. I mean, as a defender, yeah. you know what, my lady? I think you should honor your, uh, I think you should honor your uh, commitments there. Right. Now let's see how the war looks. Accept that as well, my lady. That could be a little on the dangerous side, to be perfectly honest. Down, Grimer, move. Okay. Your concubines put you in the club, has he? Oh, well, that is not good of him. Yeah, you really needed that, didn't you? A new one on the way. Defeat. All right, that's one wall gone. Uh, where are you at war? Oh, it's gone. You need a new steward, my lady. Yours kind of disappeared. With great relief. Uh, my relief is great and my joy even greater. I've given birth to a perfect little daughter. Yum! Yeah, I'm sure she's yummy. A beautiful baby, in fact. Lifestyle perk. Number of guards increased. Not very good at anything, are you? These are vassal. Oh! Vassal, vassal, vassal. Yeah, you can't. I'm sorry, mate. That's not going to work. Try and sway them, my lady. That's what you're going to have to do. Get them on side as much as you can. Vanineer is your friend, you should definitely get an alliance there. I'm not by my by your request now, glad to call you an ally. Good. Is he just a champion? Yeah, then you can pardon him.
Now, do you have anyone you can make into a a champion? Got a really bad one here. But he's all you got right now, so So I think that's all you're gonna be able to get for them. A kindly spirit, this air powerful and benevolent spirit resides in Padre Cozaloma. There are many stories circulating about how it has protected children who lost got lost at night. Or how it helped hunters defeat dangerous predators, for example. Ah, that's fine. Security of supply. Part of commanding my army means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food, drink and camp gear for long campaigns. To this end, I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. Arrange a network of merchants to help you. Dependable network. After going through the realms of financial ledgers, I was able to pick out a group of merchants scattered around the countryside which I knew would be dependable. I made an offer to them on retainer uh, to provide any supplies my army needs at a moment's notice. They will ensure my commanders always know who they should go to when they need provisions. Good. Well provisioned army. A gift for... The hustle and bustle is palpable among the travelling merchant stalls. The temporary shacks are stocked, uh, stacked to the roofers. I can't read. And contain all manner of knickknacks. These pieces are positively radiant and would make a lovely gift. As I walk by one of the merchants peddling jewellery, I hesitate and lean in for a closer look. Oh, don't, don't buy for people. You don't have the money. They'll enjoy your company and that'll be it. All right. Um... You could conquer their county. Just keep doing what you're doing, my lady. Many treatises have been written on honourable conduct in war, but these authors' lives weren't on the line. I read poetry compared... Okay, you've got the battlefield thing. Hit and run tactics. That's fine. Keep working it, my lady. You need to get him on side. Actually, I think you need to get her on side is what you need, because she's the one that's got a thing against you. Available perks. Bellum Justum. Low County Control. Are we working on things here? Yes. Aye, aye, aye. Send her a gift if you can. And gift an artifact. You're not using that, so that's fine. And they've disbanded. Good. You're pregnant again. Stop it. Stop getting pregnant. You're going to have too many heirs. A child is going to my womb. My concubine, Dondrup, will be proud. An odd smell. I woke up in the morning beside my lover Gecko. I sigh and stretch out languidly, only to catch a glimpse of my beloved wrinkling his nose. I open my mouth to inquire further, only to have Gecko recoil even, uh, even further. Listen to him, my love, he starts quickly, as if the words were tumbling out of his mouth by accident. 
This is difficult to bring up, but he, he's not been feeling, he's smelling particularly fresh recently. Dumbfounded, I give my armpit an inquisitive sniff. Well, perhaps he has a point. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe you should, you should fix that. The odd smell, top notch. I yawn tightly as Gecko leads me excitedly into a nearby town. He had insisted on travelling out as soon as possible, which, in hindsight, is somewhat insulting. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is. And we made our way through the small crowds to where a fruit and herb vendor was peddling their ways. Right, Gecko said uh, expectantly. Choose from one of these. They'll make the initial scent come off fresh and fruity. He rolled his eyes at my nonplussed expression. Making a perfume, of course. While they may not be, uh, they may be better than the uh, mint. I think you should go for the mint. It's within your budget. Odd smell from the heart. After my choice a week ago, I had almost forgotten about Gecko's quest to fabricate me a fragrance. I only remembered when he stopped dead in the street and wheeled around in his heel, dragging me to a spice merchant's in the middle of the road. These would be perfect, he cooed. Anything here would be perfect for the heart of the perfume. I look over the assembled spices and incenses, so many of them foreign and exotic to my eyes. Cardamom will work. An odd smell, a strong base. A, a passing a vendor at the edge of a forest, selling what appears to be types of wood and their related products. I only manage to have the feeling of rising dread for a second, before Gecko's eyes light up and he pulls me down over them to them. Now these would be perfect for our purpose, he indicates some of the rarer woods. These would give the smell such a powerful base. I think Oak's going to have to be fine for you, my lady, you don't have no money. One final drop, you're going to be overdrawn, my lady! Despite myself, I've ended up quite enjoying my hunt for perfumery ingredients. There is some anticipation then that I hear a vendor in the local town who carries several highly rare and coveted items. That might interest me. I look over the wares, a few of the, a few reeds of dried grass, a white powder, and what looks like some dull, crumbly grey rocks. Yeah, they're not good to you, my lady. You don't need any of them. An odd smell, a loading aroma. Having supplied a local artisan with all my collected ingredients a few days ago, it is with delight and trepidation that I unwrap the leather binding of the resultant perfume. Inside is a small bottle containing a mix of colours, at first orange, but when I hold it up to the light it turns a rich cherry. I open the crude stopper and my olfactory senses are caressed by the smell. I call over Gecko excitedly and the two of us marvel at the fragrance wafting around the room. I think you should give it to Gecko, don't you? He'll be fine. An opportunity to sway. <coughs> In my attempt to align, I achieved this minging to my desire, uh, my interest. It desires even. Wow. Uh, I have found an opportunity. I think I could argue that our goals are, in fact, the same. As I dictate my next letter, emphasize the shared interests. And she's convinced. The walls and goring. The delegation from Ungoring slowly files out of my private chambers. Our long meetings are over. The petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding and have invoked my lordly duty to help them. I drum my fingers on the table pondering whether to send funds or not. You ain't got funds. <coughs> Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, if the walls are crumbling anyway, then I could always divert their existing stipend to more personal matters. Yeah, you can have the money, my lady. I don't think you can afford to do anything else, to be perfectly honest. Uh, you've got a new son. Doction! That's fine. They're not powerful enough.
Uh, the discontent's down. You're working on pleasing them. That's good. How are we doing here, my lady? Oh, she's your uh, spy master as well. Six years there. Another conversion. Over there. A Gomo. It's 15 years. Nine months there. <laughs> Alright, my friends. We're going to leave our lady there for now. In the meantime, hit the like, comment and subscribe if you want to see the channel grow. See you next time.